Hello everyone, welcome back to another Career Bond video. My name is Crystal Cabello, the Career Bond Coordinator, here to keep you connected. I would just like to give a quick shout out to Elevators for picking me up when I'm down. <laughs> I would also like to give a shout out to Elevator Mechanics, our career segment for the day. An elevator mechanic installs, maintains, and fixes elevators, escalators, and those moving walkways that you see at the airports. These type of mechanics usually have to read and interpret blueprints, assemble elevators, install the wiring of electronic control systems, test and adjust for safety, repair, replace, maintain. There are elevators everywhere and they have to remain safe and up to code. Elevator mechanics are pretty important jobs and they make great money. If this sounds like something that you might be interested in, I highly recommend that you look up elevator apprenticeships. In today's episode, I want to talk a little bit about vocational careers. Some of you watching are getting ready to finish high school. And you might be thinking, what's next? A vocational career is a field of work in which you're not only learning in an academic setting, but you're actually being trained hands-on as well. This type of training is so that you can enter the workforce with employable skills. There are a lot of vocational career options, but the most common are usually in trade skills, healthcare, or emergency services. There are quite a few benefits into pursuing vocational training. One of them is that programs can be anywhere from a few weeks to a few years, depending on the area and whether you're working towards a certificate, a license, or associate's degree. There's usually morning, afternoon, and evening classes to accommodate for those who have other responsibilities, like a job. Tuition for these programs is also typically lower than a four-year university. You can find training programs offered at community colleges, which can be covered through financial aid, or you can attend a trade school. You always wanna make sure to research the program thoroughly. There will be schools that offer programs for lower prices. Some schools also offer help with placement, meaning that once you've actually finished the program, they already have partnerships with businesses or companies willing to hire you. Vocational training is a great way to build skills for a job, but it's actually also a really good stepping stone in further advancing your career opportunities. For example, if you want to try out the medical field, you can always start off as a CNA or certified nursing assistant. If you decide that you want to further your training, there is career ladder programs available in which you can go from a certified nursing assistant to a licensed vocational nurse to eventually a registered nurse. Some things to keep in mind when picking a potential trader vocation is job growth. You always wanna make sure that there are jobs in the field that you're going into. For example, there's actually less pharmacy aid or assistant jobs available now because pharmacies can hire pharmacy technicians instead. Assistants usually help with clerical duties and paperwork, while technicians are able to do that, but are also trained to help with the actual preparation of the medication. So it ends up being more cost effective for pharmacies to hire technicians who are able to do more tasks than an assistant. So when choosing a program, make sure that there's still expected job growth. You can always check the US Bureau of Labor Statistics at bls.gov for this kind of information. You also wanna be mindful of where you are pursuing your training. There are private trade schools that are trained to make you want to go to their school, but don't let a really fancy looking training facility or really cool looking brochures be what wins you over. Make sure their program is accredited and that you are getting the best possible tuition prices. Also find out if you will get help with what happens after the program. Will you get help with the licensing or certification process? Some schools provide just the training while others will actually set you up with the testing Afterwards, find out the program's job placement statistics. How many people that have gone through that school's program have actually found jobs? And where did they get hired? You don't want to pay for training that won't get you a job. Pursuing a vocation can be a really great opportunity if you do your research, if you would like help with looking for programs, or if you want to be connected to someone who has gone through one of these programs so that you can ask questions, please reach out to a Boys and Girls Club case manager or myself. We are more than happy to help. Another type of hands-on training is what's called an apprenticeship. An apprenticeship is a program that trains you to become skilled in a particular trade but you're also considered a full-time employee. Not only are you learning, but you're actually training 
while on the job. You're typically learning under the guidance of another skilled professional. Apprenticeships can be anywhere from one to six years, and when you're done, you usually receive some sort of certification that shows you're now pretty skilled in that particular trade. Some colleges also offer credit for apprenticeship programs so you could actually be graduating college and receiving a specialized trade certificate at the same time. There are many types of apprenticeship programs that fall under construction, trade, health, business, agriculture, even art. CareerBound is a program that's designed to present you with all of the possible job and career opportunities available to you during and after high school. There's a world of possibilities and we would love to help you navigate through them all. I challenge you to email me at crystalc at bgclaharbor.org to set up a case managing appointment via Zoom so that we can explore careers, vocations, or apprenticeship programs. My email will be in the description below. I look forward to seeing you again, even if it's through Zoom. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more career bound videos. We at the Boys and Girls Club really hope that you're staying healthy and safe.